Okay, so giving constructive feedback, which is what assignment 2 is asking you to do, isn't the easiest thing in the world. Uh, the reason you're going to be doing it, obviously, is because if you can identify areas where another student can improve, uh, you'll find it a lot easier to look at your own work and figure out areas that you can improve. So we're just looking for the AR5 skills here because the content and construction skills are the ones that you've marked in your first assignment and are the ones that you're going to be commenting on for your second assignment. So ignore anything in blue. So to start with, this is an already marked piece of work that you should have downloaded and should have open in front of you. So what can we see here? Well, we can see that the student is using vocabulary for effect. So that could be something I picked out as something they've done well. So crowds of people entering the shallow water to cool themselves off in the summer heat. That's quite nicely done there. It's also in paragraphs, so they're getting those particular marks there. So again, the fact they're paragraphing accurately, I like that. That works. That's good. Comp right, okay, so details are matching the purpose. So the purpose here is to describe. And they are describing the picture quite clearly. Each of these small huts has different personalities inside them uh, and tell the stories of people who occupy them. That's quite a nice detail there. That's quite a nice way of phrasing it. A nice little personification uh, used here. So they've obviously got a decent grasp of some techniques to use. This is a good piece of work in terms of content. However, it can be improved, as we'll see. So we've got linguistic device which is apt, so tall buildings are lined up behind the beach huts making them look ants, so they've got a nice little simile there. Uh, descriptive, you've got an engaging ear uh, idea here, yeah. And the paragraph's coherent. So instantly we're seeing a piece of text that is well paragraphed, it's nice and descriptive, and they've got a clear understanding of how to use language techniques. So how can we get the student to improve this? Well, firstly, I would start with the fact that even though you've got paragraphs here, they could be using different sentence structures for effect, really, couldn't they? They could be drawing us in a bit more as a reader, making us a bit more engaged with it. They could start maybe with very simple sentences, describing the scene, maybe simple short sentences. So, the waves crashing against the beach, one sentence. Uh, beach huts lined up like ants on the beach, another sentence, moving on from that. So they could be using their sentence structures a bit more for effect. We've got some vocabulary used for effect. Uh, you've got the crowds of people are uh, entering shallow water to cool themselves off in the summer heat. I think that's missing a metaphor. I think there's something nice you could compare those crowds of people to, maybe like a uh, I don't know, wildebeest gathering at a water hole or something like that. That would be a nice little comparison that could just tie that together a bit more and really engage me as a reader. So they, while they have used vocabulary for effect in places, I think that could be drawn out a bit more. And they've probably missed a few chances here to use some nice similes, some nice metaphors, some nice personification. And so we've got, they could be using different sentence structure and paragraph lengths uh, just to sort of engage us a bit more as a reader, they could probably include a bit more descriptive detail. They could probably use a bit more imagery, a bit more metaphor, a bit more simile, a bit more personification. And there we go. That is how you provide constructive feedback. You look at what the student's done well, and then you suggest what they could improve. 